good, isn't it? It's good to know that. God says also here in the 54th chapter, those that attack you will fall because of you. Now that is a good promise, isn't it? God says it's his business. And he says no weapon formed against you will prosper. Yes, they will be formed. Yes, they will even be implemented against Israel, but they will not prosper. And I think of Ahmadinejad over there working on his nuclear bomb, telling the world he is going to annihilate Israel. Well, I have news for him. God says, no weapon formed against Israel will prosper. So bring it on. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Let's see, because the God of Israel, there is only one God. And that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That is the only God. He is the God of creation. Amen? Yeah. And there's no guarantee where that nuclear weapon will land. If they do launch it, things can go wrong. It could land on Mecca. It could land anywhere. Because God is making it his business to foil any attempt to pluck Israel out of that land because they are back by his promise and his word. Amen? Amen. Did you believe that tonight? Yes. That's what he says. I didn't say. The God of Israel, the God of creation, is he has a plan and Israel is right in the middle of that plan. Tonight. So this is a song that at the end, but I just decided I'm going to do it earlier. Everyone stand now is the time. No weapon formed against you will prosper. <laughs> so let's lift up our hearts and our hands and clap and crank it up a little bit. Come on. Crank it up. Your hands right there. Thank you. 